In your university studies, you need to use solid scientific sources to learn and to write the best essays. The library grants access to lots of resources, but how do we search efficiently to find the most relevant sources when there are millions of articles and ebooks out there? To search strategically and get great sources in our research results, we need to master a few basic search techniques. We must formulate searches so that the database understands what we are after. We do this by using and combining wildcards, phrase searches and boolean operators. To get results that cover all inflections and conjugations of a word, we use wildcard symbols. That means putting an asterisk in the middle or at the end of a word. This will give you more search results. Use the words word stem, for example student asterisk. This will retrieve results with student, students, studentus and so on. The asterisk replaces any letters. If you put an asterisk in the middle of a word, it can cover alternative spellings, for example, difference between British or American English. When we want to search for concepts that include more than one word, we need to tell the database not to separate those words. We do this by using quotation marks around the concept. We call this a phrase search. For example, social media. It's two separate words, but it's one singular concept. If we put quotation marks before and after the words, they will be kept together in the search itself. Otherwise, the database will think it's just two words that can be present anywhere in the source. Media might show up in the title, while social might be from the abstract and in an entirely different context. Phrase searches bring back fewer but more relevant results. The database will look for exactly what's between the quotation marks in that exact order and with that exact spelling. When we have more than one search term or concept, we need to combine them strategically. We do this by using Boolean operators and, or, or not. These are always written in capital letters because they're instructions to the database about the relationship between the different search terms and which combination of words we really want results for. Or can be used to combine synonyms. If we search for just one of the words, we will get results with just that word. We need to tell the database that we want results with words that mean the same thing. This will give us more results, and the results can include any of the words we've asked for, it doesn't need to include all of them. If we want to combine different search terms, we put AND between the words. This way we only get results that include all of the search terms that we've added. They need to include this, AND, that. We get fewer results the more phrases we add with an AND. NOT is used when we want to exclude results that include a certain word from the search. But use caution, it's very easy to exclude relevant results this way. In this example, we're interested in college students, so we write down the synonyms we have, and we put OR between them. We show that they're interrelated by writing them in the same search box. In a new search box, we add students and an asterisk since we want all of the word endings. We use AND between the search boxes because we only want results that include both concepts. We also want to add the search phrase social media with a phrase search, so we use quotation marks and we combine the new search term with AND. We'll get significantly fewer search results with a combined search term from separate searches since we just told the database that the results will need to include something from every search box. This way we get more relevant results. These techniques can be used in most databases and search systems. Sometimes they use different symbols, so find out what works in whichever database you're about to use. There's usually a help section or an advanced search option that will help you along the way.